I'm making braised tarragon chicken and this is a classic dish but I'm putting a little twist on it today instead of adding heavy cream I'm going to add a little bit of white wine and chicken stock to make the sauce a little bit lighter you start with a whole chicken that's been cut into eight pieces and just season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and about one tablespoon of chopped fresh tarragon. It's really important to use fresh tarragon in this dish because it really is the essence of the flavor in the dish. In an oven proof skillet you want to heat about two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter until the butter melts and the olive oil and the butter are hot. And you add the seasoned chicken skin side down you're going to cook it about four or five minutes per side until it's nice and brown. Once the chicken is nice and brown on one side, you want to just flip it over and continue to cook it on the other side. You want it to have a nice golden color. You can see it has really beautiful color. Just make sure you stand back so you don't get splattered with the oil and butter. The chicken is nice and brown on both sides now, so you just want to move it over to one side of the skillet. We're adding three minced shallots, and shallots are a really flavorful onion. They just have a much more flavor than an onion. And you want to just cook those a couple of minutes until they release their flavor and they get a little bit of color. If they're getting too brown, just turn your heat down a little bit. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of brandy. Be careful when you're pouring your brandy in because if it, it might flare up a little if the alcohol gets to the flame. I'm adding about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. We're going to add a cup and a half of liquid. You can use either white wine or chicken broth. I like to use a combination of both because I love the flavor of the wine and the chicken broth together with the mustard. And once you've added that, you just want to whisk the mustard a little so it gets distributed evenly throughout the sauce. And then you're going to spread your chicken back out evenly in the skillet. Make sure it's skin side up. And we're going to spoon a little bit of the liquid over the chicken just to give it a nice flavor of the mustard and the tarragon and the wine and brandy together along with those wonderful flavorful shallots. Sprinkle it with the remaining tarragon. It's about a tablespoon of chopped fresh tarragon. And this goes into a preheated oven of 400 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. And you can tell when the chicken is ready because the juices will run clear if you pierce it with a knife. And a couple of times while it's cooking you want to spoon the pan juices over the chicken to give it that flavor of the sauce. I'm making pan braised carrots with orange and rosemary. This is a wonderful side to have with grilled steaks or roasted chicken and it's really simple and quick to make. You want to buy fresh carrots with their tops on them. I like to buy carrots this way just because I think it says freshness. Just remove the tops from the carrots and you want to leave a little bit of the green part on the carrot and then take a vegetable peeler and just peel the carrots and place them in water after you've peeled them. Just take the nice layer of peeling off the outside and make sure you go around the little stem to remove any dirt or any dead stems. Once you've peeled all the carrots, you want to just rinse them again really well. 
and we're going to braise these on top of the stove in a pan. We've I've heated about um, two tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. And the carrots can go right in the pan. They're going to cook for about eight minutes until they get nice color on them. You just want a little bit of golden brown color. I'm using orange carrots and red carrots, but you can get wonderful white carrots, you can get yellow carrots, and the contrast makes a really pretty side dish. The carrots have been cooking for about eight minutes now, and you can see they have a nice color on them. They're getting a little golden brown on one side. You just want to flip them and let them continue to cook on the other side until they get that nice color on them. Once they have the nice brown color all over, you want to add about a half a cup of water, the juice of one orange, and pour it over the carrots so that it gets that nice flavor throughout. About one tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary. And reduce your heat to a simmer and cover them with a lid or with foil and just let them simmer for about 10 more minutes until they get nice and tender and most of the liquid has cooked out of them. The chicken's been in the oven now for about 45 minutes and you can see it's nice and crisp. It smells wonderful. You can really smell that fresh tarragon. So we're just going to serve it on the platter with the braised carrots. And I, usually I just put it on the platter and give the sauce a quick whisk. You can see how wonderful the sauce looks. And then you can just spoon the sauce right over the chicken and serve a little bit of it on the side for people that want a little extra. has all that wonderful flavor of the shallots and the mustard and the fresh tarragon. And I like to put the carrots right on the platter with the chicken because I just think it has such wonderful color. This is such a great springtime dish. And I serve this family style. Guests can just help themselves can go right to the table just like this.